Today's Tuesday tax tip has to do with federal est estimated income tax payments. Most people uh, work and receive uh, a paycheck every week or every other week and they get at the end of the year a W-2. Those individuals have federal withholding taken out of their pay as well as Social Security and Medicare uh, each time they're paid. But if you're an individual with income from other sources such as interest, dividends, capital gains, uh, self-employment Schedule C, sole proprietorship income, partnership income, rental income, income from an S corporation, uh, pension income, and, and there's uh, a variety of other ways too. These items, uh, these income items may not contain any withholding when you receive them and the government really doesn't want to wait until April 15th of the following year to receive their money so what happens is you have to make quarterly estimates. Uh, and the quarterly estimates are based on one of two factors. You have to pay in either the lower of 100% of your prior year tax liability or 90% of your current tax year liability. So if you were doing 2015 estimates, if your 2014 um, tax liability was $10,000, you would either have to pay in $10,000 in 2015 estimates or 90% of your 2015 amount, which obviously you won't know until next year. If for some reason your, your adjusted gross income was over $150,000, $75,000 if you're married filing separately, then you would have to pay in either 110% of your 2014 taxes or 90% of your 2015 taxes. The estimates would be due um, on April 15th of 2015, June 15th of 2015, September 15th of 2015, and January 15th of 2016. Uh, and again, these estimates would include not only your federal tax liability, but also any additional taxes such as self-employment tax, which um, I covered in a different video, uh, and that has to do with uh, self-employed individuals. That's how they pay in their Social Security and Medicare. So I hope this tip helped you out, and I'll see you again next week.